2.62%. It was also down a few basis points yesterday. Uh, what do you make of market performance and why this downward trend? Well, um, a slight decline in volumes. I don't think there is a particular reason. I think uh, it's just a slight correction. I believe that uh, as we go forward and uh, more foreign activity um, is seen on the market, we do expect uh, a return into the bullish trend that we've seen in the recent past. I mean, we have just recently in the last fortnight seen the NSE closing in the 4,600 range and psychologically investors need that because it's indicative of uh, very good performance and great sentiment post the referendum. The question now is that is it sustainable? You're talking about slight and modest losses. But should we, uh, you're saying we shouldn't be anxious, but some people are saying, is this sustainable? Well, I, I think it is. What has happened now is that um, in the last one or two weeks, we have seen foreigners come in very heavily onto the market, pushing up most of the larger caps and, and the, the blue chips, rather. And um, what is happening is the local investors have sort of taken, slowed down slightly, but I do ex expect that once they see that uh, the market is still you know, showing signs of going up, then they will come back into the market, meaning we could be seeing larger volumes as we go into third uh, quarter announcements. All right, let's talk about Kennel Cobill. I mean, it's news that has been dominating headlines. The fact that they've now been added into the constituency of the NSC20, replacing East Africa Cables, whose profitability is now becoming something to question. But Kennel Cobill, it's recently had a big knock because of problems with the regulator. Well, that um, is at one point in question, but I think... Um, the perception is that Ken or Cobill, uh, especially having recently done a share split, will have higher volumes. It's a larger cap company. It's been trading more heavily on the market. And so um, the perception is that it will be a better reflection uh, compared to East African cables, which has been seeing a lot of uncertainty and low trading on the market, as well as uh, some negative sentiment, which has really right. caused it not to be a favorite. In, so, the, in the investors' eyes. All right, so Kennel Cobble basically a defensive stock is what you're saying? It's a defensive stock, uh, but um, as a result of the split, we do expect to see some growth there, seeing that um, we expect that now that the share will be more liquid, then uh, that area will be showing some growth. All right.